What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winner. And the winner, we have Austin Jessup. Congratulations man on winning. You have 48 hours to respond. Thank you everyone who participated. It really means a lot to me when you guys provide feedback. I will be doing more of these giveaways down the road, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again for watching my channel and I'll see you guys out there on the field. What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome back to the BYU Cougars Dynasty here on NCAA 07 for the PSP. Taking a look at the ESPN Mag, Notre Dame gets ready to throw down with Cal. So they're playing in the a national championship. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So guys, here are the two teams that are playing in the national championship. We have the Fighting Irish taking on the Cal Golden Bears. The Fighting Irish are 12-0 this year. They're currently on a 12-game winning streak. And then for Cal, they are 10-2 and they are on a six game winning streak. You know, I got my money on the Fighting Irish just because they have uh, the number one uh, team in points per game and they're number two in the nation when it comes to total offense. They're ranked number eight when it comes to passing offense and they're ranked number seven in total defense. So if Cal wins, I'll be surprised. So now guys, just a quick recap of the championship week. In the MAC championship, the Northern Illinois Huskies defeated Buffalo 36-34. In the SEC championship, LSU Tigers defeated South Carolina. Man, I was rooting for South Carolina to win this one. In the Big 12 championship, we have the Colorado Buffaloes defeating Oklahoma 27-10. In the ACC championship, we have the Miami Hurricanes defeating Wake Forest 41-24. And last in the CUSA championship we have the Houston Cougars defeating the ECU Pirates 37 to 30 in overtime so now guys I'm gonna give you guys a quick update of who won the conference championship in each conference starting off with the Mountain West you know we won the Mountain West you know we ended our season being nine and three seven and one in conference in the Pac-10 we have the Cal Golden Bears they are ten and two seven and two in conference in the SEC, we have the LSU Tigers. They ended their season 11 and 2, 8 and 1 in conference. In the Sun Belt, we have the North North Texas Mean Green. Excuse me. They ended their season 8 and 4, 6 and 1 in conference. The Boise State Broncos are the WAC champions. They are 10 and 2 this year, 6 and 2 in conference. The ACC champs, we have the Miami Hurricanes. They went 11 and 2, 7 and 2 in conference. The Big Ten champs go to the Ohio State Buckeyes. They ended their season 11 and 1, 7 and 1 in conference. The Big 12 champs go to the Colorado Buffaloes, who are 10 and 3, 8 and 1 in conference. The Big East champs goes to the Pittsburgh Panthers. They ended their season 9 and 3, 7 and 0 in conference. Wow, they were perfect in their conference matchups. The CUSA champs goes to the Houston Cougars, who ended their season 11-2, 9-0 in conference, and they were undefeated too in their conference games. And last, we have the Northern Illinois Huskies, who are the MAC champs. They ended their season 9-4, 8-1 in conference. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the bowl games for this year. In the Poinsettia Bowl, we have the Mid-Tennessee State Blue Raiders against the TCU Horned Frogs. In the GMAC Bowl, we have the UTEP Miners against the Northern Illinois Huskies. In the Las Vegas Bowl, we have the Stanford Cardinal against the BYU Cougars. Oh, man, we're in the Las Vegas Bowl, man. I like that logo. It's pretty cool. In the New Orleans Bowl, we have the Tulane Green Wave against the New Mexico State Aggies. In the Fort Worth Bowl, we have the Colorado State Rams against the ECU Pirates. In the Hawaii Bowl, we have the North Texas Mean Green against the Idaho Vandals. In the Motor City Bowl, we have the Fresno State Bulldogs against the Toledo Rockets. In the Independence Bowl, we have the Nevada Wolfpack against the Kansas State Wildcats. In the Emerald Bowl, we have the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets against the FIU Golden Panthers. In the MPC Computers Bowl, we have the Clemson Tigers against the Boise State Broncos. In the Holiday Bowl, we have the Kansas, we have Kansas Jayhawks against the USC Trojans. In the Music City Bowl, we have the Buffalo Bulls against the Boston College Eagles. In the Sun Bowl, we have the Arizona State Sun Devils against the Louisville Cardinals. In the Champ Sports Bowl, we have the Fighting Illini taking on the North Carolina State Wolfpack. In the MasterCard Alamo Bowl, we have the Missouri Tigers taking on the Wisconsin Badgers. In the Car Care Bowl, we have the SMU uh, Mustangs taking on the Connecticut Huskies. In the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, we have the Kent State Golden Flashes against the Houston Cougars. In the Houston Bowl, we have the Ball State Cardinals taking on the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. In the Chick-fil-A Bowl, we have the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. 
In the Insight Bowl, we have the Oregon Ducks against the West Virginia Mountaineers. In the Outback Bowl, we have the Georgia Bulldogs against the Penn State Nitty Lions. In the AT&T Cotton Bowl, we have the Ole Miss Rebels against the Oklahoma Sooners. In the Gator Bowl, we have the Texas Longhorns against the Virginia Tech Hoagies. In the Capital One Bowl, we have the South Carolina Gamecocks against the Northwestern Wildcats. In the Rose Bowl, we have the Ohio State Buckeyes against the Florida State Seminoles. In the Fiesta Bowl, we have the Colorado Buffaloes against the Tennessee Volunteers. In the Orange Bowl, man, I thought that was it. In the Orange Bowl, we have the Miami Hurricanes against the Pittsburgh Panthers. In the Sugar Bowl, we have the LSU Tigers against the Michigan Wolverines. I don't remember this game having all these bowl games. That's crazy. So I think we're in the last one. Yeah, we are. Okay, so in the National Championship, we have the Cal Golden Bears against the Fighting Irish. This week, we are playing the Stanford Cardinal. They are 7-5 this year, 5-4 and four in conference. In their last game, they lost to Cal 33-23 in the big game rivalry. When it comes to their offensive leaders in passing, they have Walker, who has 166 completions out of, excuse me, 260 attempts for 2,542 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. When it comes to rushing, they have Ross, who has 229 attempts, 895 yards, 3.9 average, 5 touchdowns, and he's averaging 74 yards per game. When it comes to receiving, they have Metlock, who has 59 receptions for 876 yards, averaging 14.9. He has 5 touchdowns this year, and he's averaging 73 yards per game. Taking a look at the defensive leaders and tackling, they have Mills, who has 68 tackles. He's also leading in sacks with 5. And then they have Logan, who's leading in interceptions with 4. So now guys, taking a look at our team information, we are nine and three, seven and one in conference. In our last game, we defeated Utah 35-18. When it comes to our offensive leaders, we have Johnson who has 104 completions out of 206 attempts for 2,656 yards. He has 23 touchdowns this year and eight interceptions. When it comes to rushing, we have Session, who has 169 attempts for 627 yards. He's averaging 3.7 per carry. He has 11 touchdowns this year, and he's averaging 52 yards per game. When it comes to receiving, we have Morris, who has 18 receptions for 572 yards. He's averaging 31.8 per catch. He has five touchdowns this year. He has 57.2 yards per game. Taking a look at our defensive leaders and tackling, we have Joyce with 39. Then we have Rutledge, who's leading in sacks with five, and then we have Joyce, who's leading in interceptions with five. So that's going to do it for the team information for the BYU Cougars and the Stanford Cardinal. I'll see you guys out there on the field as we get started to play in the Las Vegas Bowl. So here we are guys out in Las Vegas, Nevada to take on the Stanford Cardinal. Now if you guys remember from week 11, the Stanford Cardinal defeated number one team, the USC Trojans. So this should be a tough game for us. Let's go ahead and get started. As Ross gets tackled behind line of scrimmage, it's going to be second and 10. And on second and 10, Cook hands off to Ross again and he gets brought down a gain of a couple on that one. It's going to be third and eight. Cook steps back, tries to find a man, throws it, and it's an incomplete pass. Almost picked off by Tommy Bain. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU to start off their first possession of the game. We're going to hand off the session, runs up the middle, and he gets a good gain on that one. A gain of nine on that. Second and one. Johnson, rolls to the left, sees Morris, and that was a bad pass. I don't know who he's throwing it to. It's going to be third and one. Can we get a first down on this one? Hands off the session, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Good stop for Stanford. And now we're going to go the other way as Stanford start their second possession of the game. 
First and 10 at the 25 yard line. Cook steps back, tries to find someone. Throws it across the middle and it's caught by Metlock. And Metlock gets the first down. It's gonna be first and 10 at the 44. Cook throws it. It's gonna be intercepted by Golden. Good interception by our defensive lineman. That was a crazy tip pass, but I'm glad Golden was able to get that pick. And now it's going to be first and 10 for BYU. Johnson rolls to the left, tries to find someone, throws it to Morris, and he can't make the catch. That looked like that was defense pass interference, but, you know, it's whatever. It's going to be second and 10 now. We're going to hand the session who gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and 12. And on third and 12, Johnson steps back, tries to find someone, and he gets tackled. And we're going to go three and out. It's going to be first and 10 for Stanford at the 11-yard line. Cook throws it. And it's intercepted again by Golden. That is his second pick. Good job for Golden, man. This guy is a defensive lineman. And he's, he already recorded two interceptions so far. It's going to be first and goal now. We're going to give it to Session. Juke move. Makes a man miss. And he get a couple yards on that one. Second and goal now. Hands it to Session again. He's going to cut up the middle. And he gets in for six. Touchdown for BYU. And that was a three-yard touchdown. Good job for Session. What a great way to start this game. And now it's going to be first and 10 for Stanford at the 28 yard line. They gonna hand up to Ross. Ross gonna go up the middle, trying to break free, and he gets brought down. It's gonna be second and three. Cook, play action, steps back, and no one's able to make the catch. It's gonna be third and three, with only 19 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Cook, hands it off to Ross, who goes up the middle, and he does get the first down. And that's going to be Stanford's second first down of the game. Ross breaks a tackle, and he gets brought down. A good gain on that one as we head to the end of the first quarter with the score at BYU 7, the Stanford Cardinals 0. We're doing pretty well this game. I thought Stanford was going to give us a challenge because they beat USC. But anyway, it's going to be second and four at the 46-yard line. Cook steps back. Throws it, and Ross makes the catch, and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Brown. It's going to be third and eight. Cook steps back, throws it to Allen, who makes the catch, and John Joyce with the big hit. Tommy Bain picks it up. He runs along the sideline, almost goes out of bounds, but Tommy Bain is going to get in for a scoop and score. Good play right there for BYU, and that's going to be Stanford's third turnover of the game. Look at this. John Joyce with a big hit. Tommy Bain picks it up. Hold on, let's look at it again. Look at that. Just knocks him over, and Tommy Bain picks it up. He's going to run in for a scoop and score. Not before showboating, though. And now it's going to be first and 10 for Stanford at the 21 yard line. Cook steps back, throws it, and it's an incomplete pass. And now it's going to be second and 10. Cook throws it, short pass, but he threw a bullet right there to his wide receiver. He wasn't able to make the catch. It's going to be third and 10 now. Cook steps back, short pass, and it's incomplete. And now it's going to be fourth and 10 for Stanford. As they get set to punt it, we jump the snap, and we force the punter to throw it, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. Good job by our defense, man. Now we're spotted at the 21-yard line. Johnson hands off the session, who gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 13. And on second and 13, play action. Trying to look for someone, throws it to Morris, who makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down for BYU. Hands off the session, toss play, try it to juke, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and goal. With only two minutes left to go in the second quarter, we're going to hand off the session. Who tries to go up the middle and he gets nothing there. It's going to be third and goal. Johnson rolls to the left, 
tries to find someone and a complete pass nearly intercepted as we get set for a 28 yard field goal attempt and the kick is up and the kick is good and now we're leading 17-0 versus the Stanford team Cook play action throws it to Smith the Smith makes the catch and it's gonna be a three-yard pickup second and seven now Cook tries to find Stop some right run there. and Stop. nearly got sacked and now it's gonna be third and seven and on third and seven Cook steps back again tries to find someone throws it deep and it's an incomplete pass they're gonna go three and out once again it's gonna be first and ten for BYU Johnson option play hands in the session and that could have been a bad pitch play and now it's gonna be second and eight Johnson hands it the session and he gets tackled behind line of scrimmage it's gonna be third and eight and we are three I mean zero of three when it comes to third down conversions Johnson rolls to the left throws it to Morris and he couldn't make the catch and now it's gonna be first and ten for Stanford with only 22 seconds left to go play action throws it across the middle to Mosley who makes the catch and now they're gonna rush their offense as they only have 14 seconds left to go cook play action again throws it across the middle same play to Mosley and they get another first down and now they're gonna get set to kick a 36 yard field goal attempt and the kick is up and the kick is good and Stanford finally put points on the board as we head to halftime with the score of BYU 17 the Stanford Cardinal 3 so we're doing pretty well in this game we only have one first down and we're up we're up by 14 right now we're gonna hit up the session and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage it's gonna be second and 12 Johnson rolls to the left tries to find someone throws it to Howell and I don't know why he cut back inside he should have just ran up and now it's gonna be third and 12 and on third and 12 Johnson Steps back, throws it to Thomas, who makes the catch. No, he drops it. <laughs> Man, he had it in his hand. I don't know why you're trying to catch it one uh, catch it one-handed, but now it's gonna be first and ten for Stanford. Cook steps back, tries Stop to find right someone, Stop. and incomplete pass. It's gonna be second and ten now. Cook throws it to Ross and did he make the catch he did it's gonna be third and 13 now Stanford they are one of five when it comes to third down conversion let's see if they can convert they gonna hand up to Mosley and Mosley couldn't get the first down and now it's gonna be first and 10 for BYU at the 10 yard line play action throws it to Whitworth and Johnson who are you throwing it to he was wide open and now it's gonna be second and 10 play action Johnson Throws it to Zach Bonet, who makes the catch. Great catch by our impact player, but hold up, guys. There is a flag down on the field. Let's see who is on. And it's going to be offsides by Mills. And now it's going to be first and 10 at the 41-yard line for BYU. Johnson rolls to the left. Throws it to Session, who makes the catch. And he gets brought down inside the red zone. And now it's going to be first and 10 at the 12-yard line. Good catch by Session right there. We're going to hand it off to him right now. We're going to juke. And he's going to run up the middle. And he gets brought down. A seven-yard pickup on that one. Johnson hands it to Session, who gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And now it's going to be third and seven. We are zero of five when it comes to third down conversions. Let's see if we can get it. Johnson throws it to Whitworth, who makes the catch. And that's going to be a touchdown for BYU. A nine yard touchdown pass. And that is the same play I used when I faced uh, TCU when Whitworth scored the game winning touchdown. Look at that. Just cut across the middle. Great catch for Whitworth. And now it's going to be first and 10 for Stanford. And it doesn't look like they're going to win this one. Cook steps back, tries to find someone, and Smith gets brought out of bounds <laughs> well he went out of bounds it's gonna be second and 13. 
Play action. And what in the world is the wide receiver doing? It's going to be third and 13. Cook throws it. And Metlock makes the catch. And I thought I had him. But he was able to break free as we try to bring him down. And he gets in for six. It's now it's going to be first and ten for BYU. The score is now 24-10 with only a minute left to go in the third quarter. We're going to have the session. The session gets brought down, but he gets two yards on that one. Second and eight. We're going to go with the option play. Hands it to session. And he gets another two yards on that one. It's going to be third and six. Johnson. Tries to find someone, throws it, and how makes the catch almost intercepted. And now it's going to be first and 10 for BYU. We're going to hand off the session. And session gets brought out of bounds. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the score of BYU 24, the Stanford Cardinal 10. The Stanford Cardinal, they need to like do a little bit better if they, <laughs> if they expect to win this one. Second and 11. We're going to have the session, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and 11. Johnson throws to the left. Trying to find someone. Sees Thomas. Thomas makes the catch. I wish he didn't die for it, though. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU. Johnson hands off the session, runs up the middle, and he gets a good gain of five on that one. Give it a session again. And he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and six. Johnson. Stop right and there, he gets Scott. brought down on that one. I don't know why he tried to throw it off his back foot like that. But now it's going to be first and ten for Stanford. He's going to go up to play action. And Cook gets brought down. Our defense line is doing amazing today. With only two minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Let's see what they can do. And they throw an interception to Williams, and he's going to get in for a pick six. Good job for BYU. A 19-yard touchdown interception return. And that's going to be the end of the game, guys, with a score BYU 31, the Stanford Cardinal 10. And we have won the Las Vegas Bowl, ending our season 10 and 3. But let's go ahead and take a look at the lag on lock player of the game. And the player of the game, we have number 23, Tommy Bain, the junior strong safety, who had three tackles and a touchdown. He did pretty good getting that scoop and score. You know, I didn't expect him to pick it up and run all the way back. I thought their quarterback or running back was going to stop us. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game stats. So that's going to do it for the Las Vegas Bowl, guys. The score was 31 to 10. When it comes to first downs, we had seven. Uh, they had six. Total offense, they had 186. We had 154. When it comes to rushing, they rushed five times and got 20 yards. We rushed 24 times and got 24 yards. So pretty much one yard per <laughs> running play. When it comes to passing, they had 12 completions out of 31 attempts and one touchdown. We had six completions out of 14 attempts and scored one touchdown. Stanford had 166 passing yards. We had 130. We were sacked one time. We didn't get to their quarterback at all, but our defense was amazing today. Third down conversions, they were two for nine. We were three for 10. They were in the red zone one time and made a field goal. We were in the red zone three times. They got two touchdowns and one field goal. Look at turnovers, guys. Four turnovers. That's what really killed them uh, throughout this game. They lost one fumble and they threw three interceptions. Total yards, they had 353, we had 254. And then time of possession, they had 524 and we had 1036. Taking a look at individual stats, guys, Dallas Johnson, he didn't have the best game ever, but he had a 144 QB rating. He had six completions out of 14 attempts for 130 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, and a 42 completion percentage. Taking a look at rushing Nate Session had 32 yards today averaging 1.3 and he had one touchdown today 
When it comes to receiving, Nate Session had one reception for 47, Michael Howell had one reception for 15, David Whitworth had one reception for 9, Zach Bonet had one reception for 31, Gabe Thomas had one reception for 13, and Marcus Morris had one reception for 15. So everybody <laughs> got one catch today, so that's pretty good. And then David Whitworth, he was the only one to score a receiving touchdown. Taking a look at our defense, John Joyce led our team in tackles with four. Uh, we have Jason Brown who led our team in tackles for loss with one. And then we have Kenneth Golden, the junior redshirt right end. He had two interceptions today. Wow, you would never imagine a, a defense lineman getting two interceptions in one game. John Joyce forced a fumble today, and Tommy Bain was able to pick it up for a scoop and score. And then when it comes to defensive touchdowns, we have Jake Williams, who got a pick six, and then Tommy Bain, who got a scoop and score. When it comes to kicking, Robert Clark made one field goal today, which was a 29-yard kick. Congratulations, BYU has won the Las Vegas Bowl. So that's going to do it for the season, guys. In the next video, I'll be showing off the award winners, Heisman winner, you know, All-Americans, all that good stuff. But overall, it was a fun season, you know. Um, it was very difficult. I mean, we should have beat Boston College and we should have beat the Tulsa Go to Hurricane. I was hoping I would play them again in bowl season, but I mean, throughout this bowl week, but you know, it is what it is you know i'm not complaining the most important thing is that we set out what we're supposed to do we won our conference championship and we won a bowl game so that's pretty good but anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one if you like what you see and you would like to see more please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care